Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings, and today I want to explain how to convert joules to calories and calories to joules, two important units of measurement when we're talking about thermal energy and heat. Okay, so I'm just going to walk you through a few examples, and hopefully you catch on. So let's take a look at the very first example here. Okay, in this example, we're going to learn how to convert calories to joules. Okay, and if you have this, uh, this little flow diagram right here, uh, this should help you solve any types of problems where you're converting calories to joules or joules to calories or kilocalories to joules, etc., etc. Okay, so let's take a look at a problem. In this problem here, we've got 45.8 calories, and we want to know how many joules this is. So we have 45.8 calories, and we're being asked to determine how many joules of energy this is. As you look right here, you can see that the only thing you need to do is multiply by 4.18. But let's take a look at why. First of all, you should know the, uh, the conversion factor uh, for calories in joules. Okay, What I mean by that is that you should know that one calorie is equal to 4.18 joules of energy. These guys are identical. It's like saying one foot equals 12 inches or 12 inches equals one foot. They're identical. They're equivalent to one another. Okay, so in this problem here, we've got 45.8 calories, and we want to know how many joules this is. So let's go ahead and set this problem up. In this problem, we are starting off with 45.8 calories, and we are being asked to figure out how many joules of energy this is. All right, so here we go. Now, if you take a look, we have the unit calorie on top right here. We want to cancel out this unit of calorie. And so in our equivalent statement in the next step, we're going to go ahead and put calories at the bottom so that way they can go ahead and cancel out. And we're going to put joules on top. Okay. So now you got to ask yourself, what relationship exists between joules and calories? Well, if you look over here, it tells you, right? It tells you that one calorie is four point one eight joules of energy alright so take a look at what we have now okay you've got calories on top and you've got calories on bottom what can we do with these these guys here will end up canceling out leaving you with what unit left over joules so now you just take your calculator and uh, put in forty five point eight times four point one eight and you will end up with your answer now uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the answer and round it to the tenths place. However, if your teacher is asking you to pay attention to significant figures, your final answer will need to be only three sig figs. But for these problems here, we're just going to go ahead and put them in or round them to the tenths place. All right, and our answer here is going to end up being 191.4 joules. Hundred ninety one point four joules. All right, so what does this answer mean? Well, this means if you've got 45.8 calories, that is going to be the same thing as 191.4 joules. Let's take a look at the next example. Okay, in this example here, we're going to do the exact opposite. We're going to convert joules to calories. Okay, so if you take a look at this flow diagram here, we're going to convert joules to calories, joules to calories. So if you look here, it looks like the only thing we're really going to need to do here is multiply by 4, I'm sorry, divide by 4.18. But let's take a look here why. All right, so we're starting off with joules. We want to convert to calories. So let's go ahead and set this up. We have 8,650 joules. And we want to know how many calories of energy this is going to be. So I want to cancel out the unit joule. So I will put that at the bottom of my next equivalent statement. And I want to try to find calories, so I will go ahead and put that at the top of my next or of my equivalent statement. Now, what relationship exists between calories and joules? Well, you know that one calorie is 4.18 joules. Okay, so now that 4.18 is on the bottom, we will ultimately end up dividing. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. We have 8,650 divided by 4.18. And our answer is going to be 2,069.4. Well, 
Well, 2069.4 what? What unit should we attach here? Well, as you see here, joules is on top and joules is on the bottom, so we can cancel out, leaving you with the unit calorie left over. So there we go. And that's our final answer. So 8,650 joules is the same thing as 2,069 calories, or 2,069.4 calories. Let's take a look at another example here. Okay, in this example here, if you take a look, it says that we are going to convert kilo kilocalories to kilojoules. All right, so we're starting right here at kilocalories, and we want to go to kilojoules. So this looks like it's going to be a three-step problem. The first thing I'm going to need to do is multiply by a thousand. That will convert kilocalories to calories. And then we need to multiply by 4.18. That will turn the calories into joules. And then we need to divide by a thousand. That will turn the joules into kilocalories. So let's go ahead and solve this problem here. So in this problem, we've got 90 kilocalories. And we want to know how many kilojoules this is going to be. So, the very first thing I'm going to have to do is cancel out kilocalories and convert it to calories. So now you've got to ask yourself, how many calories are there in a kilocalorie? Well, the prefix kilo people means a thousand. That means that there are a thousand little calories in one kilocalorie. So now take a look. We have kilocalorie on top and kilocalorie on the bottom. They will cancel, leaving you with calories. So now we're here. We don't want to be here. We want to go over here. So we have to set up our next equivalent statement. We want to cancel out the unit calorie so that will go at the bottom of our next equivalent statement. And we're trying to find joules, so that will go on the top. Now ask yourself what relationship exists between these two units. Well, you know that one calorie is the same thing as 4.18 joules, right? So take a look at what happens. You got calories on top, calories on bottom. They cancel, leaving you with joules. So now we're right here. But we don't want to be right here. We want to figure out how many kilojoules this is. So what we have to do is come up with another equivalent statement. We want to cancel out joules, so that will go at the bottom of our next equivalent statement. And we're trying to find kilojoules, so that will go at the top. Now you got to ask yourself, what relationship exists between these two units here? Well, once again, the prefix kilo means a thousand. That means there are one thousand joules in a kilojoule. Okay. So take a look at what happens here. If you take a look at what happens, we have joules on top and joules on bottom that will cancel out, leaving you with kilojoules. I'll put the final answer down here. So now we just get our calculator out and we take ninety times a thousand times four point one eight and divided by a thousand. But if you take a look, you've got a thousand on top and a thousand on bottom. What can you do with these two? These can cancel out as well. So ultimately, all we need to do is take 90 times 4.18, and we'll get our answer 376.2. Okay? So, 90 calories, people, is the same thing. I'm sorry, 90 kilocalories is the same thing as 376.2 kilojoules. Let's take a look at the next one here. All right, and this one here, we're good, we're going to do the exact opposite. In this problem here, whoops, I'm sorry. In this problem here, we are starting off with kilojoules, right? We've got 30 kilojoules and we want to know how many kilocalories this is. Okay? So it looks like we're going to use the exact opposite steps first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply by a thousand right and then we're going to uh, divide by 4.18 and then we're going to divide by a thousand okay so let's go ahead and set this problem up okay so in this problem here we've got 30 kilojoules and we want to know how many kilocalories this is so this appears to be another three-step problem so let's go ahead and work on this the very first thing we're going to want to do is cancel out kilojoules. So I will put that at the bottom of my next equivalent statement. And we're going to try to find joules first. I'll put that at the top. You guessed it. The prefix kilo means a thousand. So we'll go ahead and put a thousand on the top here. There are a thousand joules in a kilojoule. 
These two units now cancel out, leaving you with joules. We are right here. We're trying to go way over here though. So now what do I have to do? I have to cancel out the unit joule. So I will put that at the bottom of my next equivalent statement. And I'm going to try to find calories first. So I'll put that at the top. What is the relationship between these two? We know that one calorie is 4.18 joules. Take a look at what happens. We have joules on top, joules on bottom. They cancel, leaving you with calories. So now we're right here. But we don't want to be right here. We want to go to kilocalories. So in our next equivalent statement, we're going to have to cancel out calories. So we'll put that at the bottom. And we're trying to find kcal or kilocalories. So I'll put that at the top. What relationship exists between these two? Well, once again, the prefix kilo means a thousand. There are 1,000 calories in a kilocalorie. So take a look. We have calories on top, calories on bottom. They will cancel. Also, look at this. We have 1,000 on bottom here, and we have 1,000 on top right here. These units will also cancel out. So essentially, all you need to do is take 30 divided by 4.18. and you will get your answer. Our answer here is going to be 7.2 kcal. Whoops. 7.2 kilocalories. Let me erase this here. Okay. So, if you've got 30 kilojoules of energy or thermal energy, it's equal to 7.2 kilocalories of energy. Let's take a look at one final. All right, in this example here, we're going to try to convert calories to kilojoules. So in this problem here, we are starting off with calories, and we're trying to find how many kilojoules of energy this is. So as you see here, we're going from left to right. This is going to be a two-step problem. So let's go ahead and jump in here and tackle this problem here. Don't let the uh, scientific notation scare you. We got five. 0.6 times 10 to the second calories and we want to know how many kilojoules this is going to be so this here it looks like is going to be a two-step problem we want to cancel out the unit calories so that will go on the t on the bottom of our next equivalent statement and the very first thing we're going to have to do is convert it to joules that will go on the top right we know that one calorie is 4.18 joules Calories will now cancel out, leaving you with joules. But we don't want joules. We want to be over here at kilojoules. So in our next equivalent statement, we will cancel out the unit joules, convert to kilojoules. And we know that there are 1,000 joules in one kilojoule. Joules will now cancel out, leaving you with the kilojoule unit left over. So now we just get our calculator out. We just put in 5.6 EXP or EE2 and then we're going to multiply that by 4.18 and we should end up with our final answer. Our final answer here ends up being 2340.8 kilojoules, right? Or if you want to convert this into scientific notation, if your teacher uh, wants you to put in this in scientific notation, this will be 2.3 times 10 to the third kilojoules. Okay, so either one of these two answers here should be acceptable. I hope this was helpful. Have a good day.